Hello, I'm Shabana Desait, your friend and colleague, and today I'll be discussing about HIPEC, that is hypothermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy in short, and uh, how you will explain this to your patient in a layman language. Because in MRCOG Path 3 exam, in cases of ovarian cancer, the patients do ask about hot chemotherapy, that is HIPEC. So I've, I have again kept it very simple and easy for you to explain to the patient. This HIPEC, that is hypothermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy, this is also known as hot chemotherapy or chemotherapy bath, in which a heated chemotherapy drug is delivered directly to the abdominal cavity, that, that is tummy. It is a procedure which is carried out after completion of complex and extensive surgery, this is performed after the surgeon removes all tumors and all visible diseases in the tummy and pelvis. And after all visible tumors are removed, chemotherapy drug is heated to about 40 to 45 degrees Celsius and pumped through the abdominal cavity. And as the temperature is so high, so the patient lies on a special cooling blanket to keep their body temperature at safe levels. And after instilling the drug, surgeons physically rock the patient back and forth on the operating table or they massage the tummy for about two hours to ensure that the drug reaches all areas of the abdomen, killing any cancer cells that remain after surgery and reducing the risk for cancer recurrence. Now, for this heart chemotherapy, the patients must meet very strict criteria. The cancer must be advanced, but not spread to other organs. They need to be assessed fit enough to undergo the extensive surgery and heart chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. What are the advantages? It has several advantages over the standard chemotherapy. It is a single treatment done in the operating room instead of multiple treatments over several weeks. 90% of the drug stays within the abdominal cavity decreasing toxic effects on the rest of the body. It also allows for a more intense dose of chemotherapy. What about the side effects? Heart chemotherapy does not produce the common side effects of traditional chemotherapy like hair loss and nausea. Why? Because heated chemotherapy drugs stay in the tummy and this approach minimizes exposure to chemotherapy to the rest of the body. By limiting the exposure, doctors can safely treat patients with higher doses of chemotherapy. What about the post of management? Patients must be prepared to receive nutrition through a feeding tube or IV line for about two weeks. This is important so that the digestive system recovers from the intense dose of chemotherapy. And regarding the recovery, the hospital stay is of approximately two weeks. In some cases, it can be shorter or longer. And after the procedure, the goal is to get the patients back to their normal routines as soon as possible. So let's have a look at this diagram, how this procedure is done. So um, first, extensive surgery, that is the cytoreductive surgery is done and all the tumors are removed. After that, uh, the drug is heated, chemotherapeutic agent is heated. So you can see there is a heater and heated to up to 42 uh, 45 degrees Celsius, and then it is instilled in the abdominal cavity through this pump, that this is the inflow pump. After that, the surgeons massage the abdomen or rock the patient back and forth so that the whole drug mixes up in the abdominal cavity. After that, the chemotherapeutic agent is drained through the outline pipe okay outline uh, this pump outflow pump so this is the inflow pump this is the outflow pump and after the procedure the abdomen is, is rinsed and the incision is closed so this is about the hot chemotherapy okay so i hope this was helpful and everything you have to explain in the layman language you're never not going to use any medical jargon okay uh, in case in a simulated patient task. So you have to make a note of that. In simulated patient task, every procedure has to be explained to the patient in a layman language 
no medical jargons, no technical terminology. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Thank you and all the best. I'll be uploading a few more um, uh, videos on the YouTube, I mean the audio videos and uh, for the exam from the examination point of view. I hope this was helpful. Thank you. Thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. Bye-bye.